I am about to watch Avengers Endgame for 24 hours straight. I already have tickets to five showings in a row. So I'm going to give you some of my reactions. I'm going to take you through the whole journey and I'm going to show you why economists say this is such a bad idea. It is about six o'clock on Thursday. Let's get started. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Everything. I'm worried that Endgame is ending me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to Market Power. How would you react if I told you I was watching Avengers Endgame five times in a row? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Get five times this weekend. <laughs> That's dedication. Yes, five times in a row actually. Isn't it like a three hour movie? Good idea. You know, if you want to, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wow, wow. That's He's the impressive. one that bought all the tickets. I, I, Five times is probably a little bit of an overkill. Uh, how's your wife feel about this? Uh, how's your wife feel about this? Have you ever watched the same movie five times in a row? Then how do you know it's bad? Economists have an explanation, but I wanted to test it for myself. This is during the first time I watched it, and obviously I didn't take a break. I was so into it, so there's not really much interesting footage from this part. Okay, just about to see the first showing. I am super excited. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Let me just give you a brief montage of my emotions during that three hours. Oh, yes! oh, amazing, man. Ah! It was the most amazing thing that's ever happened. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, just walking out of the theater. Okay, I went outside of the theater because there are people coming into the next showing. I don't want to spoil it for everyone, but that was very different and still amazing. Um, and I guess the only thing I really have to say is hammer time. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, I mean, I jumped out of my seat at that point and you know what I'm talking about. When I told my wife I was doing this marathon, she said she was fine with it as long as she didn't have to do it too. So we took two separate cars to the movie theater. Bye, honey. But how does your wife feel about this? Here I go for my second time. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's midnight. I'm about halfway through the second showing. I'm probably about to miss where uh, some pretty big important <laughs> moments. Um, one observation I'm noticing is I'm smiling more, not as much laughing. I was laughing a lot during that first showing. Now I just kind of smile. But yeah, it's really, it's still good. Maybe not as good as the first time, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm also taking time to just check Twitter, send out a tweet. Uh, if you want to follow me, my Twitter handle is at MarketPowerYT. Also, I have a lot of videos about uh, economics and Avengers, so go ahead and check those out. I'll put a link to the playlist up here. I know some of you are going to complain that I didn't really watch the movie for 24 hours straight like the title says because there was a break between when the last showing on Thursday got out and when the first showing on Friday started. That's not my fault. There was nothing I could do to control that. So what I did instead is I set up a laptop right next to my bed and I looped the Avengers Endgame trailer all night. It's the same three minutes of Avengers Endgame, but it's still Avengers Endgame the entire night. So that's two showings down. I've got three more tomorrow, but first I'm gonna go get some sleep in my own bed. This isn't actually my bed. For some reason, my wife insisted that I do this in the guest bedroom. But how does your wife feel about this? While I'm sleeping, let's go ahead and think about why this is such a bad idea. See, I think after like the first two times and you can catch everything, but then you'll be tired and then yeah. That's kind of just a bad use of time in the first place. Okay. And I don't know if it's really worth spending the money to see the same movie five times in a row if you're spending eight dollars each time, eight to ten dollars. So you think there are some people where this is like actually worth it for them? Yeah, to go and do I, it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Because that's ten hours of wasted time. <laughs> oh, this is a three-hour movie, my friend. It's oh, fifteen hours. hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like fifteen hours of your time. Yeah. I mean, I just think you could probably use it in a better way. Oh, sometimes I watch Nacho Libre two weekends in a row and it gets old. What I loved about the student responses is how they had this great intuitive grasp of what economists call the law of diminishing returns. 
Everything we consume has costs and benefits. The law of diminishing returns describes how those benefits change as we increase our consumption. The law of diminishing returns says that the first time I watch the movie, I'm going to get a large benefit out of it. And the second time I might get a big benefit out of it too, but just not as big as the first time. But each time I watch it, the benefit of that watch time decreases. Doing the same thing over and over and over again becomes monotonous. It is 5.45. Um, this is about the time I normally wake up. I try to get some personal time in at the beginning of the day, try to do uh, a workout. All Marvel movies make me want to work out more. Um, I guess this one's particularly inspired me because uh, gotta work on that hashtag Thorbod. Um, yeah, I would love to sleep more right now. Um, I have to shower. I don't know if you can tell how crazy my hair looks right now. Um, but I don't really have the option of sleeping more because I've got four kids. I still have to take care of them. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not like something where I just get to take a day off from my responsibilities. So I guess that's factoring into whether this was a good decision or not. It is 9.42 on Friday morning, technically opening day of Avengers. I don't know if you can hear or see there is a thunderstorm coming in. So that's, um, I mean, it's not going to affect me. I'm going to be inside all day today. Uh, I'm feeling better than I was when I woke up this morning. I have a slight headache, but I think today will be fine. We'll see how it goes. I could do this all day. One way to see that the returns are diminishing is to see what I start doing in these later showings. I have time to go out and get food, to take a restroom break. So about 20 minutes into the third showing, um, already taking my first restroom break. Even just to stretch my legs because I don't really care that I'm missing a movie that I've already seen two, three, or four times. Uh, it is a smaller theater, not as many people. The energy is much lower my energy is much lower. So I just got out of the third showing. One thing that was really funny about this, last night I was jazzed, I just like, yeah, I was like jittery during the trailers. Just so excited to watch this movie. And then this one I started nodding off, which is to be expected, I haven't been, I didn't get much sleep last night. Now I'm getting some food, I'm getting some pizza. I don't wanna eat popcorn. I was following Herb Scribner, who's a reporter at the Deseret News, he did that. 22 movie marathon uh, where they just did it for like what 60 plus hours in a row and he had a good example of diminishing returns when he, he tweeted about eating popcorn so much during that marathon so that's not what I want to do I'm grabbing some pizza and then I got to get run back so that way I can hit my fourth showing Just finished my lunch. The show actually, the show time was like 15 minutes ago, but there's like 20 minutes of trailers and I'm not really worried about missing anything in this movie right now. I'm not in a rush. I'm actually, I'm gonna take my time. I need to wash my hands, probably use the restroom again. Um, yeah, the value of this showing is definitely much lower than last night. Fourth time, back in the same auditorium as I was last night, the bigger one. Hopefully it's fuller, I'm excited for it. Um, I intentionally got aisle seats so that way I could come in and out. Is this your guys' first time seeing it? Oh yeah. This is my fourth. Fourth? Your mega experience brought to you live. Man, I can't see, <laughs> it's so bright. Just finished the fourth showing. It felt like when you have a class and the professor's talking and you know like you're supposed to be learning something and you're not. That's what that one felt like. I'm, it, it's definitely going downhill. I mean, it's still a good movie. I'm just not having the response. I feel like Dormammu and Doctor Strange, except I don't know which one of the two I am. This is how things are now. You and me trapped in this moment endlessly. So it's about 425, 426. Uh, a couple of companies bought all the early evening showing. So there's actually not another showing until 8.40. Um, I have a ticket to it. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have some dinner with my family, uh, hang out with my kids, work on this video a little bit, and we'll see if I 
make it back for the 840 showing or if I decide it's just not worth it. I'm worried that Endgame is ending me. <clears throat> so let's summarize what we learned through this video. These students I interviewed and many of you watching this very video probably have very little background in economics, and yet you intuitively understand the law of diminishing returns, which says the benefit of certain activities diminishes the more we increase consumption. A lot of people like to critique economics by saying the assumptions we make are unreasonable, they're made up, or whatever the case is that it's just this fantastical view of the world. And yet the law of diminishing returns is really central to a lot of economic activity. With it, it's how we're able to understand how people make certain trade-offs. And it turns out this is very real, like my own experience has shown, it is not fun watching the same movie over and over again. The returns are definitely diminishing. And what I love from this is that we all understand this. Just to do, even though we, you know, none of the people I interviewed, and I imagine many of you have not just sat through and watched the same movie five times in a row, and yet you know that it's a bad idea, and you have a good understanding of it because there are other things that will give you a larger benefit. That is economics, and we understand it, and it's true. Well, there you go, it is six o'clock on the dot. It has been 24 hours since I started my Marvel Marathon. I have a ticket to the 840 showing tonight. I could do it if I needed to, but it's just not worth it at this point. Um, I just have other things I need to be doing. I need to be taking care of my kids. I need to be editing this video. Um, it is just not worth it. I have definitely hit that point where the cost of going to the movie is higher than the benefit I'm gonna get from it. You have fought with honor, now yield. Your people need you. Maybe a little overkill. Thanks for watching Market Power. Subscribe so that way you can see more videos on the power of markets and economics to shape our world.